In today's video, we're breaking down the Homie the Clown sketches from In Living Color. As always, if you find value from this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more sketch comedy breakdowns. And comment below with what sketch you want me to break down in a future video. So as I explained in my intro to comedy course, in which I teach the fundamentals of stand-up improv and sketch in an integrated way, and I will leave a link in the description box below to the course, a sketch is just a visual representation of a joke. So in the case of these sketches, which all center around the same character, the joke is, what if an ex-con were a clown? I talk about all the different types of sketches there are in my intro to comedy course that I already mentioned. These are all character sketches. Character sketches follow a comedic character. The great thing about character sketches is that once you have a comedic character, you can come up with an endless number of sketches by placing your character in situations where their funniness shines best. So in the Homie the Clown sketches that I found online, and I'll link all the videos I found on YouTube so you can watch them for reference, Homie the Clown appears in a number of situations, from a kid's birthday party, to a carnival, to a romantic encounter with his new parole officer. I go more in depth into what makes characters funny in my intro to comedy course, and one of those things is a catchphrase, or something that they can repeat. The catchphrase almost becomes like a mantra, and it should be indicative of the character's flawed behavior. So in this case, Homie the Clown's catchphrase is, I don't think so, Homie don't play that. This catchphrase is linked to his behavior in an ironic way. So Homie the Clown is all about not accepting abuse from, well, from the white man, and he kind of takes it out on children. So his catchphrase is sort of like him setting a boundary of what he will not tolerate, which is ironic because his flawed behavior is him being abusive. So let's break down the five parts of a sketch. The five parts are setup, conflict, game, heightening, and a button. So let's start with the setup. Now, since we're referring to multiple sketches that follow this character, let's talk about the setup in generic terms. The setup happens very quickly at the beginning of each sketch by just introducing us to a new scenario in which we'd meet Homie the Clown. So we set up in one sketch that um, it, it, the setting is a classroom and the principal comes in to say that their teacher isn't there, but they have a surprise substitute teacher who is none other than Homie the Clown. Uh, in another situation, we see a, a group of students coming into a Chuck E. Cheese type restaurant and being entertained by Homie the Clown, etc. So the conflict in character sketches usually stems from the character's behavior, specifically how they are flawed. So in the case of the Homie the Clown sketches, the conflict is usually the fact that the people who encounter Homie the Clown expect to be entertained in traditional clown ways. They do not expect to become his victims. Homie the Clown's flaw is that he's abusive. This in turn turns into the comedy of the sketch as we watch him abuse children. You know, perhaps we could take a moment right now to just acknowledge that it's 2021 and I'm not condoning child abuse in any way. I am firmly against it. However, I want to, if in case, you know, some of you are younger viewers and you're looking at us like, how could we ever laugh at comedy like this? When you watch comedy, it's really important to place it in the context of the time in which it was first performed. In the case of In Living Color, this is a show that's like, 30 years old now, okay? So the comedy in that show probably wouldn't fly by today's standards. However, as long as you, the viewer, can place the comedy in its proper place and time and context, you are allowed to laugh, okay? I firmly believe that children shouldn't be abused in any type of way. 
However, I laugh at Homie the Clown hitting the kids with his sock full of pennies because it's fictitious. You have permission to laugh at things that do not seem appropriate by today's standards, especially if it's for learning purposes like what these videos are for. A game is simply put a pattern. In Sketch, it's a pattern of behavior that heightens and we'll talk about heightening in a moment. So let's summarize the game in all of these sketches as a clown abuses children. It sounds so messed up when I verbalize it, but you know what? It is what it is. So heightening refers to that pattern of behavior escalating. And I always tell you to watch for heightening by how the other characters respond and react. Specifically, we are looking for heightened emotional reactions, strong emotional reactions. So in the Homie the Clown sketches, if you watch the children, they all start off at the top of the sketch being very happy to see Homie the Clown. And by the end, they are feeling abused, dejected, just sad. Finally, we get to the button. The button is really just the end of the sketch. And in a lot of these sketches on older shows, especially like In Living Color that was performed in front of a live audience, you'll notice a lot of sketches just kind of end with audience applause, which is fine. That's just something of the times. Usually in these sketches though, the button is Homie the Clown winning in some type of way. He wins for the day, ultimately, by taking out his abuse on children. Now, is Homie the Clown a winner overall? No. There's kind of an ongoing joke in these Homie the Clown sketches where he talks about his struggle against the man, and they have this recurring joke where they talk about this restaurant. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. I'm laughing because it's a funny joke. <laughs> So they have this recurring joke where they talk about um, a restaurant called Shea Whitey, which is, I mean, it's just a clash of two words, which is just a really dumb, but really funny and effective laugh line. So that's the breakdown of the Homie the Clown sketches from In Living Color. If you like this video and you want to look at some other sketch breakdowns, I have this video where I break down Key and Peele's aerobics meltdown sketch. I also have this video where I break down Saturday Night Live's iceberg sketch starring Bo and Yang. I'll leave the links to both of those videos in the description box below along with the link to my intro to comedy course that I subtly mentioned a few times in this video. So if you wanna check those out, they're down below. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.